Hey everybody, Arachne Queen here, and I live, and I'm sorry I haven't put out a video recently. It's been really busy and really hot. It's 102 degrees today, and it's probably one of the hottest summers we've had in a while. And I know it's hotter other places, but it's way too hot here. So today I thought I would talk about a few spiders, and they're ones that end up on the internet a lot because the internet likes to tell everybody that they're extremely dangerous when they're not and we're just going to talk about these poor little spiders and clear up their little reputations. We'll start out with a little spider known as the Atrax robustus, more commonly known as the Sydney funnel web spider. Now this is one of those spiders that is advertised as world's deadliest venom or whatever they say about the spiders and the thing about this spider is, actually, it does have a pretty potent bite. It even has an anti-venom made from its venom. However, since the anti-venom was created back in 1980, there have been no deaths, period, from this bite. And there are about 30, 40 bites per year. Now, before the anti-venom was created, all the way back to the year 1927, there were about 13 or 14 known deaths from the funnel web spider. and that still puts the death rate under 1%. And while it is unfortunately true that one of these deaths was a child and it did only take 15 minutes to get to the child's body and kill the child, all the other bites take about two days to get through an adult's body. That's a pretty long time and that's plenty of time to get treatment nowadays. So like I said, since the anti-venom was created, there have been no deaths and even nowadays, about 90% of funnel web spider bites, or Sydney funnel web spider bites, 90% of them are deemed um, unnecessary, or the antivenom is deemed unnecessary for these spiders. Next, we're gonna talk about a species called the Latrodectus hasselti. Now, we've talked about the Latrodectus before, and we know them as black widow spiders. Now, the Latrodectus hasselti is an Australian spider known as the Australian redback spider and actually looks very similar to our black widow spiders and even has a similar bite and venom. Now, the Latrodectus hasselti is also similar in the fact that these species are pretty darn harmless nowadays. There is an anti-venom that was developed for them, like a lot of the more venomous spiders out there. However, this one is rarely used, and in the last several decades, there have been no deaths from the spider's bite. The next one we're going to talk about is known as the Brazilian wandering spider. A spider I think most everyone has heard of in one way or another. Now the Brazilian wandering spider name actually covers several different species. And those are, excuse me while I read them because they are very big words. They are the Phonutria nigraventer, the P. kersalingi, and the P. fera. Those are all classified under Brazilian wandering spider. Now this spider is very well known because of its this large publicized study that was released where mice were killed when they injected 0 0.006 milligrams of their venom into some mice and the mice died. Now, I guess that could be unsettling, but the thing is, I'm a person, a human, not a mouse. There's quite a size difference between us, even between a child and one of these spiders. That's quite the size difference. And really, the venom sacs on these spiders wouldn't be that big. And chances are, it may even offer a dry bite before it offered a wet bite, which is a warning. Now, many very legitimate sources have recorded about 7,000 bites from this spider. However, only about 10 known deaths and about 2% needing any form of antivenom for this bite. So yeah, the spider does seem to be biting people, probably out of defense because that's what spiders do. They don't go out and look to bite people. So defensively, they have bitten people and apparently a lot of times. However, out of 7,000 bites, only 10 deaths. I really wouldn't be going around saying that this is the deadliest spider in the world. Now this is a spider I don't think I'd ever heard of until I started looking up research for this video. And that is the Lampona cylindrata or the white-tailed spider. Now, this one actually kind of makes me laugh because not only is the spider not deadly, there's not even anti-venom for it. Why? Because it isn't harmful at all. Somebody, somehow, in Australia decided to 
published these reports that stated that necrotic lesions were caused by this little spider's bite. Now, that's all fine and well, I guess. However, when they did a big test of it officially, the symptoms, swelling and itching, and maybe slight pain. That's about it. It isn't even vaguely harmful. I doubt if even if you had a severe allergy to the spider's bite, which that is a very oddly specific um, spider venom allergy. I still don't think it would kill you. They're not very large spiders at all. So yeah, like I said, there isn't even an anti-venom. So anyone out there who's telling you that the Australian white-tailed spider is horrifically deadly is full of it. Next up on our list is the Distera crotata. Now this one has a little story that goes along with it. In 1993, a man with absolutely no medical or arachnological credentials to his name somehow published an article about the spider, also known as the woodlouse spider, because that's what it eats, woodlice and various other land crustaceans. It was somehow published that the spider caused blistering and necrotic lesions on his roommate's skin after it bit him. Did they see the spider bite him? No. Apparently that's irrelevant. However, further studying did occur, and once again, the spider bite caused itching, slight pain around the puncture site, and swelling. That's about it. And that's all it's ever going to cause. There was also some claim out there that said if you have an allergy to the venom, it can cause a fatality, but that has yet to happen. There's no record of that happening, but I guess if you have an allergy to something and you're exposed to it enough, you might die, but there's no record of it, so that person must be psychic. That's pretty cool. So there you have it, some not-so-deadly spiders that exist in our world, and I will admit, there are some out there that are somewhat dangerous to humans and might need an anti-venom. Might. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's no such thing as a dangerous spider, because, yeah, it happens. And that's why we make anti-venoms, because it happens. But the Brazilian wandering spider is not going to kill you. The white tail spider is definitely not going to kill you because it doesn't do anything. And yeah, that's about it. And also, I think one of those spiders, I'm not exactly sure which one, is also considered one of the banana spiders. You know, the one that's supposed to like sit on top of the bananas and ride all the way over to the produce section here in the states and then it bites us and we die. No, it doesn't. Don't fall for that. Just don't. So, internet needs to figure out which one they think has the world's deadliest venom because I don't think you can have four or five of the world's deadliest venom. I think there can only be one. So, uh, pick one and make up stuff about that one instead of like five of them. And then maybe we can talk, except you'll still be wrong. So yeah, don't go talking about deadly spiders because there's anti-venom for that. And don't go bugging the spiders because most of these are just like funnel weavers. They probably chill on plants or in the ground and don't really care about you. So leave them alone. Thank you so much for watching. It is very nice that you stopped by and listened about these not so deadly spiders. And if you like this video, you should like. And if you dislike this video, well, you can dislike and that just means you're a hater. And we all know what haters are gonna do. They're gonna go around spreading lies about venomous deadly spiders. So leave a comment. And if you really like this video, you should subscribe and see more videos like this because I do videos like this. And I will catch you guys 